Captivate. Who's used Captivate? Mm, nobody. Okay, well let me just encourage you to the beauties of what Captivate can do. I'm going to record a simulation. Here it says software simulation. Which I'm clicking on. Now, okay, what do I want to do? New project. And I'm going to record, you see the various options here? Bridge is one option. It should be still in there. there it is, right there. Uh, I can go for an application window uh, and it will actually snap to that window. In fact, I'll do that. Look, I'm going to take my bridge application, there it is, and reduce its screen size. Have, bearing in mind that when users are viewing this, they may not have all the screen space that I have. So there, I've reduced my bridge screen size significantly. Back in Captivate, I'm going to use that size, which is OK. And it has a bit of a think. And do you see the red box? The red box is what it's snapped to. That's the region it's going to screen capture, screen record. I'm just going to set my screen up before I begin recording. And we'll look at some Photoshop images in here. Now, what I'm going to record in order to train somebody else is how to search using Bridge. And it's great. If you've tagged some images, very, very easy to search. Best thing with Captivate is to have a good plan of what you want to create. So my plan is I'm going to type in the word uh, detective, because I'm pretty sure this guy has, yes, detective as a keyword, or some of them do anyway, this one perhaps. Yeah, it's ticked on detective. I'm going to type in the word detective, and then I'm going to press the enter key. And I think that'll do for my recording. So that's the end of my plan. Let me begin to record by pressing the record button. Oh, by the way, when I finish, I'm going to press the button end, and there's a bunch of other keyword shortcuts for taking screenshots and things. So, record. It's now screen capturing. But I don't have to get, oh, I must keep up. No, I can just take my time, go and have a cup of coffee. It's only going to record, not in real time, but in mouse time. So, I go with my mouse to where I want to go, and just listen now. Ooh, isn't that nice? Don't worry, the camera sound won't become part of the recording, but it tells me that, yes, it's recorded that snapshot. And I'll type, detector. <laughs> that is an old keyboard. And I'm going to press the enter key. And it has filtered, Bridge has filtered according to those two things. I'm going to press end on my keyboard. That ends my Captivate session, or my Captivate record. Give the project a name, and there we are. It's creating now a swoof file. Yes, we've got old Flash, which I can play back in all the platforms that we now know and love. And there are the three screens that I just previewed, I uh, just recorded rather. I'll preview the project. This is what I can now deliver into the training uh, realm that I'm creating this training piece for. So it's inviting me. Did you see that? Select the window. There I go, select the window. And then it says, press the enter key. So this is what happens when you press the enter key. And that's the end of the presentation. So you can create recordings, screenshot capture recordings, which end up as Swift files. And unlike, you know, I won't compare to other software, but the point is you can then add insert new slides or you can make it interactive. So um, we could add a quiz perhaps at the end. If I go quiz, question slide, I might have um, multiple choice. This is going to be just a survey question. I could make it graded and have some learning management system. But let's add some solutions. And so I've given a couple of options, and I can choose OK. And it creates a, a question slide, an interactive question slide. So we could say in the previous thing, can you remember which button do you have to use to do a certain job of work? I can preview uh, just from this slide. And you can actually get the metrics of how long they spent on the thing, if they changed their mind, whether they skipped a question, you can weight the questions, etc. So I might say, oh, I understand binary, and choose submit. And uh, there we go, I scored zero, oh, I scored um, one question. Oh, I didn't put any scores, I made that graded question, didn't I? So very, very easy. That's a Swift again, that's a Swift document where you can record your screen and uh, add in question slides or other learning interactions.